Nikola Motors has been plummeting since it was investigated for securities fraud by the SEC. Nikola executives have taken the fraud to an even lower level by partnering with top automobile industry executives to squash critics. Despite its current $23 billion market capitalization, Nikola Motors is still a multi-billion dollar company with hundreds of millions of dollars in debt and four equity investors who are trying to sell their holdings as of now. The fraudulent exit strategy of Nikola does not just encompass the automobile business. This billion-dollar swindle is being played on worldwide scale by major corporations such as BlackRock, JP Morgan, Chase, and Barclays, among others, to try and catch a fast bank. Welcome to Financial Market TV. If you're new to the channel and enjoy content like this, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Also, please don't hesitate to share your comments down below and give this video a like. Let's get started. This is an incredible example of how a little amount of investment money can create a huge return on investment. For those unfamiliar with the company, in 2015, Theranos was exposed to a medical fraud by Wall Street Journal, and many will compare it to Nikola Motors. Elizabeth Holmes promised a revolutionary blood analyzer that would be able to analyze your body with. Theranos was only worth $9 billion, whereas Nikola Motors, on the other hand, is worth $34 billion. It's a minor miracle for Nikos executives to have pulled off this fraud at such a high level. How did this firm arrive to its current status? So let's go back to the start of Nikola Motors. In 2014, Trevor Milton, the former executive chairman of Nikola Nikola Motors founded Nikola Motors with the goal to literally revolutionize the trucking industry. He hired a man by the name of Britton Worthen as the chief legal officer and got started creating the business model. After two years passed, Trevor finally had his first product ready. Except you couldn't really call it a product because it didn't exist. The truck named C Nikola 1 would have a natural gas turbine to fuel a 320 kilowatt hour battery. This truck was priced at $375,000, but you have to put down a refundable $1,500 to deposit in order to pre order the truck. The first 5,000 pre orders would be able to receive 100,000 gallons of free natural gas, which made a lot of sense for the buyer, assuming the promise was legitimate. Unknown to the large and enterprises that pre-ordered multiple trucks, this was about to change in just six months. Trevor overhauled the company model completely, converting it to a hydrogen and electric semi-truck. He started off by demonstrating how to wire the interior of a truck with an electric cord then turned on the natural gas turbine inside the vehicle so that people couldn't see it. Despite this, nobody noticed that Trevor Milton claimed that the truck was not a pusher. We know now that this truck was never able to operate on its own. He literally claimed it was a functional vehicle when it wasn't. He stated that it's not just a pusher meaning a vehicle that they just push over the next four years. Nikola Motors was continuing to release these non-existent vehicles, and in 2020, Trevor finally decided it was time to cash out. He sold 7 million Nikola shares at $10 per share, totaling to $70 million, after which Trevor used the money to buy the most expensive mansion in Utah for $32.5 million, known as the Riverbend Ranch. The house was 16,800 square feet and had 8 bedrooms and 8.5 bathrooms and over 2,000 acres of land. Trevor's ambition to be a successful fraudster came true at last. Many funds quickly caught up to this red flag and sold their entire stake in Nikola stock. During this time, there were actually 14 different funds that sold their entire stock in Nikola. Yeah, despite being caught red-handed, Trevor Milton and Nikola executives still wanted more money, so they needed the company to go IPO. However, they didn't fulfill the financial requirements to go public through the norm. After all, they had no income. This is when a Vector IQ acquisition enters into play, with Steve Gursky leading Vector IQ as a special purpose acquisition firm that was more than willing to help Nikola get up and running. They would acquire Nikola Motors in the private market before going public. Surely after this occurred, large banks like Wedbush, JP Morgan, and Barclays rushed into the market. At the same time, more individuals became aware of the scam. Trevor says that this company has a revolutionary battery with a range of 600 miles and power to rival Tesla's Model 3. When the firm had no battery patents, acquisitions, chemists, or even research reports, in addition, Trevor claims to have breakthrough hydrogen technology that would be less expensive than gasoline in the future. GM initially partnered with Nikola to create the world's first hydrogen electric vehicle, which was unveiled in September 2013. 
the Badger. Nikola paid GM $2 billion for the rights to acquire GM's battery and hydrogen technology in return for a stock grant. This was an obvious fraud. The next day, the Hindenburg report was leaked. A massive bombshell of an article has been published by Hindenburg Research this morning regarding Nikola Motors. Nate, the creator of the Hindenburg Report, exposed a key secret for Nikola Motors' competitors in a document that shed light on the history of the company. The study revealed that Nicholas's video of his prototype truck, the Nikola one, was rolling downhill rather than driving on its own power. After a slew of allegations, Trevor resigned as the company's legal chief. The founder of Nikola is voluntarily stepping down. The plan of exit. After the report proved that Nikola Motors' bogus claims were a lie, J.P. Morgan Chase kept its buy rating. This made one and only one aspect of it clear. Chase was in on the fraud. J.P. Morgan Chase owned Nikola's stock and still owns it today. As a result, it would be in their best interest to issue a buy rating on Nikola's stock in order for them to profit. GM's response was equally one-sided. Mary Barra, the company's CEO, claims she conducted her own research and is now asking for a greater stake in Nikola. GM's investment in Nikola plummeted from $2 billion to $1.1 billion in matters of days. The only logical option for a greedy CEO is to get more free cash. The fact that these major corporations are supporting an automaker that has already been proven to be a fraud truly shows the ethics of the executives. Nikola Motor is worth millions or even billions of dollars. These executives are actually receiving more stock as an award for keeping the valuation of Nikola Motors at a certain level. Mark Russell, the current CEO, received 600,000 shares. That is worth 14.4 million. In total, Mark has over 41 million shares of Nikola. That is worth roughly $1 billion. Yup, $1 billion. Kim Brady, the CFO of Nikola, has $7.6 million for the stock. As of this moment, and Britton Worthen, the CLO, has $7.2 billion. Talk is worthless to them right now because they can't sell their shares until December 21st, which is when the lockup expires. Remember this date, guys, December 21st, as all of these shares would come flooding out into the market. And the value of Nikola will crash. All of these Nikola executives desperately waiting for December 21 so they could dump their shares in the open market and run away with hundreds of millions of dollars. Over the past few days, online creators Sam Alexander and Tom Nash have received copyright strikes for using footage of Nikola Motors despite their clip being used fairly. The executive of Nikola Motor Company are not taking criticism lightly. They've decided to silence critics in the way to secure their millions and billions of dollars worth in stock. So they're going on a campaign against any person who speaks out or writes anything against them. Don't forget to keep that December 21 date in your head because that's when everything will be destroyed for this company of frauds. Thanks for watching the whole video. Again, if you're new and like this type of content, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to leave a comment down below and hit that like button. Also, click on the notification bell to get updated on our weekly uploads. See you in the next video!